so the other way of doing this, so, the, so one way, one of the things to say what you just said, which is use these powers for good. The other thing I've, I've been able to do is, is the opposite, which is when I see somebody do something for evil, but it works, I try to learn from it. And so, for example, I remember the first time I saw, the, I'll give you a recent example first. No, I completely agree. So Trump is uh, somebody who I'm not a fan of. I think the guy is bad in all these different ways. Um, but when I watch him, the guy is an incredibly effective communicator. And he's not polished. He doesn't use fancy $15 words. He um, doesn't have a lot of substance behind what he's saying. But the guy is like a, a master of... Uh, of communication. The guy knows how to get his point across uh, in a way that resonates with people. I completely and agree. Scott Adams, who's the creator of Dilbert, was talking about this when Trump was running. And if you haven't seen it, go read Scott Adams's blog. Um, he's the creator of Dilbert. And he was early on when Trump first announced his candidacy, Scott Adams called it. He goes, this guy's going to win. And people were like, what? He goes, I've been studying persuasion for 20 years. I've been studying hypnosis. I've been a, a communicator through cartoon. I know an effective communicator when I see one. This guy is a master. He goes, and he, so he, he would come up with, whenever Trump would say things like um, low energy Jeb or whatever, when he would like call Jeb Bush low energy, um, he was like, these are linguistic kill shots. These are, and, or when he would talk about the wall, he'd be like, it's a great big wall, a huge wall. And he's like, he's painting a picture in people's minds, which is much better than talking about policy. And uh, so, so you can learn from people that you think are using it for negative. Well, he, he, and he called out that he was going to win. He called that he was going to win months before anybody even took him seriously. When 538 was like, this guy's got a 0% chance, Scott Adams was like, this guy's going to win. And uh, of course, if he was wrong, nobody would ever even really pay attention to it because, you know, but when you're right on, on a contrarian prediction, you get all the credit. And the other example of this was Hitler. So Hitler, when Hitler was rising to power, I studied, how did this guy get so popular? What did this guy do? Because when you watch him speak, he's not a very compelling guy. Um, but uh, they did a lot of things. So one thing I remember uh, that stood out to me, this, I was in seventh grade, and I remember learning about this. And when Hitler was trying to rise to power, all the political campaign posters were all like full color, lots of text, uh, people trying to explain their position on things. And Hitler went the other way. Everything he did was black and white, which would be normally, it would not stand out. But he was like, well, I will contrast everybody else who's do using tons of color on their stuff. I'll go black and white. The second thing was he would use only like big images and like really powerful images and not a bunch of text. And then he would use movies as propaganda and, you know, fill the cinema with people to watch a movie. But it was very much a propaganda thing behind it. So even though he used it for evil, those techniques and principles are interesting to learn from for me as somebody who wants to, you know, have a strong toolkit that I can use for good. I completely agree. I was reading, I've been going down so many Wikipedia holes now that I'm home so much. I was reading <laughs> about, uh, I read Wik Hitler's Wikipedia because I was reading about World War II and it let me, like, I was reading about the mafia and then World War II and then, <laughs> and like, uh, and it was like, he's, there, and like, his rise to power was because he, uh, like, would speak at these, uh, I don't know what, what the equivalent of is now, but just like halls where he, right. like bars, like veteran halls. And I'm like, wait a minute. He started as a speaker. That's it. Right. It was kind of crazy.